What a difference a week makes. Uh, I should have done more burning while I had the chance. Now we've got all of this snow and we've had rain and snow mix. And finally there's a little bit of sunshine, but it's it's been really wet and cold through these last few days. Today's a, a beautiful day. So I thought I would uh, get out here and check on things. I had three burn piles that were lit and smoldering and that we were mixing and they are they are out between the rain and the snow and the cold it uh, put everything out so looks like we're done burning for this year and we'll take it up again in the spring when things start to warm up and melt and things start to dry out a bit today I want to get in the in the grater and just clean off some of this snow some of the roads have been driven on more than others uh, on the west side over there there's still quite a bit of snow nobody's been driving over there and so it's it's built up so I'm gonna run over there with the road grader and just push the snow out um, one of the advantages to the to the road grader is I can really windrow that snow and push it wide it seems like when I'm pushing with the truck that I start to get these these tall piles uh, that are just you know a blade and a half or or two blades wide with the grader I can really push that snow out there making a, a 20 foot wide path with the grader so I'm gonna work on that today and and I'll take you along it's been so cold I'm having to preheat the glow plugs, but it sounds like it's gonna start. I'm a little worried about the bald tires. I don't have chains. It's gonna be interesting to see how this thing is gonna push snow with, with slick tires.
determined and determined this winter to keep the roads open in this uh, in our in our little subdivision that we have out here I've got about a mile of road and then last year I tried and I tried and I stayed on top of it pretty good but towards the end we had some big big snowstorms and I just couldn't keep up with it with the plow truck so this year I'm determined to get some chains and to keep this this grader going it it just it widens the road out it pushes the snow back and so then when you get those big snowstorms where you get a foot or a foot and a half you've got room to push if you don't get get that road opened up um, then you don't have any room to push so I'm gonna try and really work hard this winter to keep the roads open and keep access and stay on top of it um, I also want to gain information for the for the the association for the shared road association on tracking how much time it takes and and the hours and what machine worked and try to to gather information that will help them uh, budget for the snow in the years to come so um, it's it's kind of a two-sided thing I want to keep access in here and I want to track what it takes to keep the roads plowed through the winter and how much time how much how much fuel how many man hours uh, those types of things so we'll be a, we'll be doing a lot of snow plowing this year this this grader makes things go so fast it uh, it just that doesn't even know the snow is there and that that giant 12-foot blade moving across the road really throws snow out of the way and opens things up I did notice that it's really really slick and the fact that I have tires that aren't that great I really need chains as things get icier and things get colder the chains are gonna be really nice um, so this will give us an opportunity to kind of experiment and adjust and get things dialed in for the years to come.